So it's been a bit of an amazing year for you. Everything's kind of blown up almost out of nowhere, which is a bit rare in these days. So uh, congratulations on that one for a start. Thanks. Um, thought we'd do something a little bit different with this interview today based on the band's name and how it came from that misinterpretation of your name, right? So it was Foster around the people, then people misheard it and you thought we're just going to go with it and call ourselves Foster the people. Is that accurate? That's about what happened, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so the interview is going to be based around this penguin here. <laughs> We're going to do a test to see if you are suitable candidates to foster the penguin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. How are you feeling about that? Well, Ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Right. Question one. Where would this penguin live if you were to foster this penguin? Oh, would it be on a tour bus? Probably. One of our refrigerators. If we had to foster that penguin, I mean, do you have a big enough freezer for that? We can maybe build one. Why don't we just we chill do your little like doggy door? Like, no, you turn your loft into an igloo. That's true. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because they need space. Yeah, they need a lot they're of They're going to be comfortable. You yeah. think refrigerator's just not big enough. The pool on my roof is pretty cold. Um, yeah, I'm that could be a place. Too. Okay, good knowledge there. So, um, what kind of day would this penguin experience? Let's say if you took it on the road with you and there was a little fridge in your tour bus for the penguin. <laughs> what would... What would it go through every day with you guys? If the penguin came on the road with us, um, it would definitely have to build up its tolerance for alcohol. Um, which penguins, I would imagine, have pretty small livers. So That's what you we'd think. work it in slowly. <laughs> um, and what music would the penguin get to listen to every day? We'd have to test out a bunch of things on the penguin, I think, to see what it really likes. You know, probably start off with some start with our classicals. Uh, Class classical. Go through the, uh, the go country. I don't know if it would like country. Probably Maybe like not. Scandinavian bands because like they, they make cold weather yeah. music. You're trying to look it in the eye and see what it's thinking, aren't you? I can tell. It looks angry. I think right it's now. in the metal. Yeah, it's like in the hardcore metal. <laughs> and would he ever get to go on stage with you? Yeah, maybe he can come on stage with us today. Actually, can he dance? He hasn't danced ever yet, but I'm sure. He's, He's dead, Fonzie, look at him. Have <laughs> <laughs> you not seen that? He needs to be fast. <laughs> um, what would you feed it? Mm. Gummy bears. Penguins don't eat gummy bears. This one will. You seem to know a lot about penguins. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should foster this thing. Penguins eat fish. <laughs> well, it's Swedish fish then. Okay. <laughs> Compromise. Would you consider yourselves to be good role models for this penguin, even though you're not penguins yourselves, obviously? Would you be able to kind of give it some aspirational values to live in the future from? I don't think penguins really need need any extra values. They, they fall in love with one mate. They mate lifelong. Um, you know, I mean, they're already, like, better than most people. So they travel thousands of miles to raise their kids and... and this is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> kids. Not even baby penguins. Kids. <laughs> yes. You know what, let's... Uh, I'm not gonna. I was. I was had a little more questions actually. But you've impressed me so much that I'm just gonna award you this penguin. Oh, now. thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, little penguin. It's ours now. <laughs> so on to uh, stage two of the interview. Then, this. <laughs> what do you think of the UK? I was about to say you're gonna say we're flipping weird to give you penguins and interviews for a start. But are you guys having a good time playing shows over here? Yeah, yeah, we just played yesterday at Reading, and um, it's like one of the most fun shows we've had at a festival. So we're about to play here in a couple hours. We'll see uh, see how it goes. But we love coming over here. It's, we've been here like six times, I think, in the last year. Um, so it's kind of a home home away from home. And I heard you guys talking on the radio yesterday, um, mentioning that you're going to be traveling out to South America, was it, and Asia as well? Yeah, next year. Yeah. Have you ever been out there before? No, never. We've never been to. Yeah, we haven't played over there. So yeah, we'll be doing like South America, I think like Chile and Brazil, and like Argentina, and, yeah, and then Southeast Asia. So looking forward to that. Cool. Maybe uh, maybe this guy can come with us. Maybe you'll move towards the Antarctic at some point in the future, and you know, and then drop, let him go. Let him set go. Set him free. Well, we are playing back. a show in Alaska. We might be able to. Do that. That's true. That's true. We'll take him ice fishing with us, and he feels at home. Yeah. Right and we'll film it and we'll send you the video. Perfect. <laughs>